Hi everybody. Hi dear. You're Yorkshire Crafter. How are we doing? I hope you're well. Hey, look at that little bit of acetate. I've been looking everywhere for that. Hey, oh. I've been looking everywhere for it and now I've found an extra piece. Anyway, what's the date? It is... Wait a second. I've got my new phone. I'm filming on my normal one. It is the 26th of September. At what time? Five past seven at night. So, and that is a Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Right. So, don't think I've got out to say. Everything's... This is my first doing my craft room. Bearing in mind it's Thursday. It's my first doing craft room since we did the live on Sunday. That's how busy I've been. I've had the most hectic week. Um, and... It's just been orders, knitting orders. But I'm nearly I'm nearly caught up now, but I needed to come in. I needed a bit of a, a break. It's killing my wrist. Right, I think we're a bit low there. I'm just gonna alter the camera, sorry. It it was a bit low down from when we did live. Not organised, honestly. Right. So today we're gonna do a reef. So I was very lucky to receive a new stamp from Inkylicious. Now look, it's two small ones, absolutely perfect. They are this size, but look at the price. And look what I'm going to do with it. Absolutely fantastic, £1.50, you can't knock it. Honestly. So we're doing two. So I'm... I'll explain as I go along because the colour we're doing the first one, I started doing the second one the same colours because I'm doing one with one stamp and one with other. And then halfway through I thought, I'm changing it. So I stopped. I'll show you how far I got because I'm still going to finish them off. I'm just not going to finish them off right now. Now I just have to make sure, <laughs> working out which cards which, when I haven't got the daylight, it's really hard to see colours. So that's his mat and layer, and his, we're having a green card base. Don't know where my inside bit is, but I've definitely got one. So I'm using Strathmore Bristol Smooth. Um, it's just perfect. I am using my stamping platform. And I've put my um, corner in, because I, that's the way I was going to measure how to do it. That looked filthy, did that then? Um, but I ended up doing it a different way. But I'm still leaving it in. So what I did do... Now this is a really, really old mask. <laughs> Look at the state of this. I told you, don't get rid of it. So to find my centre, this is five and a half by five and a half. And I am going to cut this down to... Five by five. Sure, it's going to go five by five. The card base is five and a half, and then the mat and layers just make up the time. So, even a little bit off, it doesn't matter because I'm going to cut it down. But I'd like to be as near as can be. It looks pretty good to me, does that? So, we're going to go with the first one. And so, the first one, just to get my circle, I'm using dark green, what's already on my brush. You can hardly see it, and I'm literally just going to come off the end. You you probably won't see it, but I'll see it. And it's just to give me a perfect circle. Do it on your own, with your own, by all means. But because of this little stamp, and it's really delicate, I wanted it to be quite perfect and seen. You know, if you start doing it like this, you tend to hide a lot of the stamp. But I wanted my stamp to be seen. Yeah, can you just see that circle, can't you? So that's enough. I'm going to use it again on the next one as well. So we're going to use the, what I call fern. 
and the second one will use the holly. Oh, pine. There you go, pine. So I'm going to just put it, because I've got a curvy branch here, I'm going to put that on the curve. It's got, actually, it's got its own little curve to it, which you'll see. I mean, this is worth £1.50 of anybody's money, isn't it, to be fair. So thinking I'm cutting off, I might just bring it in a little bit further. That'll do. I've got to think about, I'm stamping it middle actually, so let's have a, let's have a nose there. Oh, 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 I don't know where my stamp is. Well, that's good, isn't it? Where is my stamp? I've put them all to the side here, what I'm using. I've got them all mixed up, haven't I? Because that's it. Oh, I know, it's fine. That one's on platform. Phew. So, a way for me to work it out. Is... But that is going to look fine. That's fine by me. So I'll take the other one off. <laughs> I'll just sit it be there, there. And let's crack on. Still not sure about how far out it is. Seems very wide. Let me just... Sorry. I didn't measure it last one, I just did it. I'm going to bring it in a tiny bit. And if my writing don't fit, I'll choose something else. It doesn't matter, does it? But I'm going with that. And I'm using good old Shady Lane. I ain't used it forever. Make sure I've got the right one. The straightforward card's dead easy. Like I say, you don't need a platform for it. Just do your own moving, but I just found it easier. Like I say, it's quite delicate and I want it to stay that way. Yeah. That's absolutely fine. I feel like I haven't used the platform for what it's for for such a long time. It'd help if I got it right, wouldn't it? I'm just taking it all the way around. I think, if I think on, I'm moving it two notches out of, so that one's there. One notch, two notch. Yeah, I'm moving it two notches each time. There we go, nearly done. We um we go and park like you know all the time with doggies. Um our doggies have become friends with other doggies. I mean like Lexi's frightened of her own shadow, but eventually I mean it's took her eleven years, but she's alright with some dogs now. And one of them that she's alright with one second. Um they lost him this week. He had to be put to sleep. We only found out today. Well, I came off parking tears, me. <sighs> so sad. But they're all around the same age, you know what I mean? Like, Lexi's 11. Um, and Jack were 11. He were a sheepdog. Absolutely stunning dog. 
Oh, it were heartbreaking. But we knew it were coming, it was just, it were a when. Right, let's move on to something a bit more cheery. So, you, if you look through all your stamps, it doesn't have to be one make. Just look through your stamps. I want just them little three dots. That's all I want. And it's attached to some more. And I was actually going to cut it. In fact, I think I might cut it now. I've cut many a stamp, me. Um, I'm just trying to think if it's stuck together for a reason. Nah. Now I'm going to cut it. So I can cut a bit of extra off there now. I don't need all that on. Same with that. Perfect. That makes that a little bit easier for me, actually. Put the rest of it away. So I'm just going to use my little block. And these, I'm just going to... I'm going to use the strawberry. And what I'm going to do... Now then, let me think. Where the berries are, so you've got your holly here, little bits of holly. And I'm just going to put the berries underneath there. I know there's little bits in between them, have you? But I'm just going to put them there. No particular way. I'm not bothered about this being a set way. It's just to add that tiny bit of colour and keep it delicate still that's it best put it away you can see me losing the berries Done. Where's that come from? Got a bit of liquid pills, haven't we? Put that away. Right. Now, I don't know which bit to do first. I'm going to use my Tombow. 856, not for any particular reason, just the fact it was a nice red and it was long enough for me to not um, smudge it all. You know what I mean? The pen, the pen's long enough. And if you look, you've got little bits of berries that are already on the um, what's what are they calling it? Pine. With the holly. So I'm just twitching them. Don't worry, these berries stand out better than this when they're finished. I was going to use stickles. But me and Stickles, I'm terrible at forgetting they're on there and smudging them all the time. I do it all the time. I just don't know why or how. This is the bit out of all of it that takes longest. <laughs> there, madam. I don't use these Tombow markers and I was dead excited when I got them. So that's what you're going to see me doing. I'm going to start using them. I got them actually after watching a lady use them. And you know what I do when I do the watercolour on my stamps? 
and I put the pen on, I'm going to squirt it and stamp down. That's what I've got them for. But I still use my um, zig spirit. I don't, I don't know why. Right, I'm going to do the same with the green. This is just 173. I don't know how many of you actually have these. And I chose this colour purely just to make it stand out a little bit. I'm not doing any special colouring out. There's just a few olive leaves. Where are they? Here they are. I think that is one there. I don't know what I'm colouring in. Try to look at the other one that I've done. Oh, it's there, look. <laughs> Eep, I come. That's it. So this is no special, this colouring. I would take my time normally. I'm not even adding another colour. I'm just keeping the same. You know what I mean? I'm not going to pop it up with a, a darker green or out. I've got an itch right inside my ear. They're very long pens. I did the visas the um the other day for America. It's so different from when I last did them, how you have to do it. But they're done. Right, that's all done in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. What I want to do, I think. I'm going to take it off here now. See, it still doesn't look out special at the moment. But I'm just going to give it a blast because I'm going to put some embossing on it. back in now I took it out because I don't know how that heat will react with this and I don't I'm not ruining this so it's not to take it out and I'm only putting this in to get the words straight because I might as well do the words and the star at the same time it's gone all dull again Right, so another stamp that I was sent is all these little stars. Again, £1.50, cut them into separate stamps. This one's already tiny on its own and I didn't need to cut into them because I didn't want a small one for this. But you, you just can't knock them, can you? This is how things should be cheap to make cards. Right, we're going to gold emboss and we're also going to use the words from now then I put it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas I think I might go with it's the most wonderful time of the year so we've used them both I've had this one a while let's see how this fits Ooh. Do you know what? Will we get away with that? Ah, that is a lot shorter. Let's stick with the one that fits. It's absolutely belted it down here today. Just trying to make sure that's straight. Looks good to me. So, I'll... Now then. See, I did it in all little bits and bats when I was doing it earlier. I'll do this first. I'm using my Versamark. Mark. 
my craft room's an absolute tip. Now, I'm not going to eat this up yet because then all the powder comes off when I'd have to powder it again. So let me just make sure that that's on. Yeah, I can read that. And I'm going to take the little one and I'm just going to dot it. I know that I don't touch the other one. Now then. Dot. Dot. I can't remember where to put them. Dot. Dot. These are smudging. I can feel it smudging under me. And why is it smudging? Where did I start? That's the thing. Started there, bit looks of it. So, there. I've got room for one. Oh no, just put my hand straight in the middle. See, there is a reason why I did it a bit at a time. Right, let's take it out and have a look. I think I've just smudged all that. Of course you have, Heidi. See, look at all that gold that's stuck there and I put tons and tons and tons of powder on it. What have I missed here? I've missed some here, haven't I? I've missed a star there. Star, 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 star. I've missed one there as well. Star, star, star. Yeah. Right, that's all right. Two seconds then. And then I'll brush the other stuff off. So where did I miss it? There. And. There. Let's have another look. This isn't going to be my best work then, is it? I've got another one missing. There. <laughs> Unless I have. Oh Lord. Don't do what I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, we're up today. We're done. Now I just need to get all this off. I don't want to use this brush, but I must admit, when I was playing earlier, I had to do this. That writing hadn't done the right though, has it? <sighs> yeah, it has. Just needed a bit more on. So, missing the... <laughs> missing the stars. Just make your way around. Go make yourself a brew if you want. Why is that on there? I 
I'm double dinking myself and that's the worst thing ever. Now we're getting there now. Star, star. So, what are you guys up to? I'm just sat here trying to get rid of powder. Do you know the video that I put up um, yesterday? It was the. Now then, it was yeah, it was the Inculicious tags where I used the color cube cards, um, and you were all. Messaging me saying, oh, that's hilarious about Andy with chips. And I'm like, I have absolutely no idea what any of you are talking about. So I mentioned it to Andy and he says, no, I don't know. He said, you don't tell me what you talk about. I said, I don't know what I talk about. I just talk. So for the first time in a long time, I had to go back and watch a video, one of my own videos. It's really, really the weirdest thing ever. I mean, you guys know, I, only once in a blue moon I'll watch a video of any. So to watch one of my own, oh. Right, we're done. See, it weren't that bad, were it? Yeah, so by the time these, I've, I've got one going up tomorrow, I think it is. And it's nearly five weeks old. I haven't got a clue what I talked about. Not got a clue. I know something I do keep saying is I need to order some more gold because that's all I've got. Surprise now, quick it actually goes down, you know. Right, so let's get this heated up with my weapon. It doesn't half make a difference once you see this gold in it. There, look at this now. In that eight gun the best. <laughs> Look how different that looks already. But it has a little bits stuck to branches. And do you know what? It looks alright. So even though it's not finished yet, we're putting it on its base. I told you it was a really simple card, and those berries look rubbish. They do, I agree. Just hang on. Using my tape gun because we've still got another card to do yet. I don't remember last time I used my wet glue. Oh no! Oh my goodness, I need to go and start again. I'm just going to go and cut half an inch off all the way around. Talk amongst yourselves a second. Actually, I'm bringing it in here because I can't see it window now. It's too dark. So, and this is going to stick like crazy. So, quarter of an inch off each side I'm going to do. So, down to five and a quarter. You know, it's one of those things that I never forget to do. Because I don't like big cards. You know, to make them. And I've gone and forgot dinner. That's okay. Yay. We managed. So you can't move, it's a right tip in here. And it's still got plenty of tape on. I'll have a little bit there. I'll do.
So we're gonna have a bit of red. Then we're gonna have a bit of cream. Oh hey, look at that. Couldn't have timed it any better, could I? Guys, I'll have to find a new one. Anyway, I had some. Sorry about that. I think today is just a disaster, isn't it? I think. Because I ain't crafted for four days. Right, where did we get to? You can always tell when it's coming to end actually because it's so much easier when it's um, new. I've cut this wrong, haven't I? This is only supposed to be a thin border around this one. It doesn't look to have any border. What's going on? I'm going home. I'll catch you all later. This is ridiculous. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh, I want to go home. Yes, I am at home. What am I doing wrong? Oh no, I just couldn't see it because it why <sighs> Do you ever get them this? It's one of those where you just want to go back to bed and start again. Right, so it's finished. But it's not good enough, is it? Because the red looks rubbish. So, instead of using glossy accents, I used crackle accent and it will just crackle like smashed glass. Make sure it's coming out. And all I'm going to do is put it on, you know, the cluster of three. not coming out straight I tell you today can just do one now I've had enough now I've got to do another card yet <laughs> things can only get ah oh, that's better better oh yeah I can see the difference already so if you use glossy accents this is what it'll look like and it'll become see-through. It does go on cloudy. But once you've put this on and you just leave it, which is what I'm going to do with this now. I love this, me. Absolutely love it. I never heard of it till one of you guys asked me about it. So that's it, right? That's it done. It'll have a white piece of card on the inside. And it looks pretty. It really does look pretty. And you could put it on the, your little ones and all if you want. But if you leave it, now it's started to turn. It's started cracking. Don't know if, Can you see it on that top one there? But look at the colour it's brought through. So it's the exact same colours that are on it. But look how it's made it stand out. That's awesome. I absolutely love that it's cracking it. 
Oh, I did put a bit of, yeah, wink, wink, Stella, I put on the dots as well, but I haven't done on this one. Not yet, but I will do. You can just see it on this. It's barely, barely see it, but. So there you go. That's your first card. So I'm going to leave that flat away from everything because I know what I'm like. And then it will look like that. Even the greens look different, but they're not, you know, the same green. Hmm. Right, I'll just put that to the side. And then we'll move on to the next one. Now, this was my working out. This was, this is how I play to find out what I want to do. So, I wasn't sure if I wanted to mix both stamps. Um, the colours, intermittent, um, second generation. I just didn't know what to do yet. So, I did green. Let's get the platform back. Let's get the, oh dear me. Let's get the card. So we're just doing the same thing. And that was the green. And I really, really like it. And then I took it a little bit further. Oh, I'd made it small, so I made it a little bit bigger because I forgot to use my circle. And I really liked it. And then I just thought, I'm just doing the same colours. So, why not? I'm putting the mask on. We're going to put it down exactly the same. This time on here, we're coming in with... Ha, yes. Blue. Look at this. I got a couple because they were in sale. Oh, I love it. So I'm just going to give it a blue outline. And I am going to have some blue around here, so I'm not bothered how far it comes out. No, what am I doing? There you go. So we've got that same blue halo again. And I'm using the holly stamp. But this time we're going to do intermittent colouring. So I'm going to use Blue Bell and Arctic. This is the colour that I use on back of all my stamps. Uh, on the back of all my cards, sorry. So I'm going to do, I'll tell you what, we'll do the light first. And I want the light to be in the corner. Is that strong enough? Yeah. So this time you're going at every quarter turn. So much easier, isn't it, having a platform? I'm going to do some more work with these. Um, something else I want to have a go at. So there you go. Because we know we're getting eight, I know I only need the four corners. So now I'm going to mark it up, uh, stamp it up with the blue. And I'll go back to the top then. Yeah, I didn't want to do it in the green, same. I mean, green's my colour. I'm not a massive fan of green and red together or gold. But I think that one just, it was, the stamps are small enough to make it look um, delicate, dainty, you know what I mean? Just, yeah, I know what I mean. I don't like big gold baubles with red on or big red baubles with gold on, don't like it. 
I don't like big bows like that either. Well, I don't think I do anyway. I've never had them, so. Just give that a wipe. Now I'm going to do something slightly different from the one that I practiced at because there was something on it I didn't like. Where's that little one gone? So this little one, I'm going to stamp that up in the blue that we've just used. Can you see what I'm doing? You can, can't you? And I'm going to do it Now then, shall I do? Yeah. So one out. One in. One out. One in. All I'm doing is looking at the, you know, the little gaps. And if you fill them, it just gives you a lovely little reef, doesn't it? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I'm going to change colour. I'm going to stick with the same stamp. Whereas on the other one I put a snowflake in, but I'm going to stick with stamp. The snowflake was nice, it just, it was a little too big and I did it in the wrong blue. So this time... I'm doing them in light. Yay. Oh, can you hear them cats outside? Ah, oh, you see, I think that's just lovely. Isn't it nice in blue for a change? Now what would look nice here, I did one oh, over 12 months ago and it had, I don't know where they went, um, I put a little snowflake in it. It went half of a reef actually. But this time I'm going to put some words in it and the words are these ones that we're in it earlier and it says softly softly fill the snow I've had this one a while as well so it's just a case of getting it straight I mean there's something else I want to do but I need to get the embossing done first we're going to do a bit of filing and if you don't do the embossing first when you heat the embossing up the foil loses its shine. It goes quite dull. Get off my hand. I've no idea how straight that looks. Right, I'm just going with that. Now I'm doing this in silver embossing and I may very well have to do the brushing off again. Mind you it's only going to be around edges, not touching it without else. So I'm using my Versamark. Please be straight. I thought Lexi were in here and I can hear her snoring downstairs. So I'm using my silver, Brutus Mamma.
See, it has stuck. Do you know, it'd be lovely if you eat it up, actually, but we're not. Just make sure I've got enough on my letters. <laughs> so all the extra... Like I say, it's only on bottom anyway, because we haven't put it up there. There's a lot though, isn't there? And that's because my ink, I don't recall drying it. Do you remember me drying it? I don't. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. Get this finished and I think I've got time to get it quite cleaned up. I've got a branded makeover there thrown everywhere. It hasn't been given a home yet and it's just a mess because I don't know what to do with it. I buy it every year and every year I end up filing it where it goes and never touching it. Isn't that a beautiful silver? Right, now what we're going to do is going to get your quickie glue pen. I feel like I ain't done this for ages as well. I got excited when I got it out. And I'm going to put them in the middle of these little stars. And I'm going to put it where your berries would go. So, I'll start here. Um, in the middle of the star. I'm going to have to be careful how I do it. I'll end up smudging it. Has anybody done the Christmas shopping yet? I, I am that person that used to... Um, I'd do it in the sale, you know, every year I'd buy, I'd buy what I knew, like clothes and stuff, where I knew, obviously it was still a guess at what size my kids would be and what have you. And then through the year, I just always bought, always, because I was the also that person that went overboard every year. And I mean went overboard. When I look back now, it was crazy. But I never wanted my kids to go without you remember things, don't you? And it, that's not what I remember from being a child. I don't remember Christmas presents. Um, no, I'm not saying we didn't get them. I'm saying I don't remember them. It's funny what you remember. So, yeah, I always... Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate at the same time, trying to see where I have and haven't. Yes, yeah, so I always went overboard and... Whether I overcompensated for not remembering, I don't know. But they never went without. And I, I spent just as much on Andy as I did on kids. So, but I mean, for the last 19 years of being a poster, 18, 19 years, I was on some um, really good money. Especially at Christmas, I always work nights as well. Um, so it gave me quite a bit to play with. I could have been a very wealthy woman if I'd have banked it all. But you don't. Can't take it with you, can you? Right, I think we've done it, you know. I think we've done it. Well, I'll know in a minute when I see if I've missed any. I mean, you could even go around and put something in, you know, in the 
leaf bits, but I just didn't want to overkill it. So I'm just going to give these a quick blast to make them tacky. And I'm just using a piece of the Gina K. Oh, look at that one. Let it snow. <laughs> How appropriate. Um, this is just a, it's full of dots missing. I've used it that much. I'm just going to see if it's ready. Yeah. And I'm just going to use silver all the way around. It doesn't half make a difference. And I'll see, you see, if I've missed any, like that. And it's a big miss, so we'll carry on. Come back to that one. Oh, looks pretty good there. Amazing what you can do with a little bit of foil in it. It really is. And you don't have to be an artist to do it. If you don't want to heat it up, you just leave it and it'll go tacky on its own, you know. I'm just double checking all the way down that everything's got a, a bit of foil. Apart from that one. See if it's ready. It looks tacky. There you go. See, you didn't even have to eat it up. So can you see all that on there? It's really lovely to it. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can there, can you? So it's up to you now. If you want to... Where's the base? Tell you what, let me cut this down. I'll get cut out. Let's cut this down and then we know where we're going from. So, gosh, that's really out of sync. I'm taking a quarter of an inch off each side. So yeah, it's up to you now, if you want to take, you see it wouldn't work, let's put the innie on the inside. So what I've done, which I'm going to do again anyway, but if you wanted to, you could leave that. Um, put a different, put a lighter blue, um, let's have a look, obviously not this blue but you know what I mean, this is how I check what I'm doing and yeah you could put another blue and just leave it as it is and it's lovely, it's pretty, but I'm going to take this one a bit further. So I'm going to go back to this brush. I hope I'm not going to put muck anywhere. And I'm just going to do all the edges. Gosh, I'm in love with this brush. I'll say one thing, I mean, you can tell quality, can't you? Yeah, you definitely can. 
So I'm just layering it with three colours. Now I'm going dusk. These actually aren't the best colours for this. I'm sticking with the same brush. If I'd have thought on, I would have got my oxides out. Or inks. Just for the actual colours. I've got better colours in oxide, you know, to match these. It turned out alright in the end, though. I quite liked it, so... Oops. Oh dear. I ruined that, didn't I? That's what you get for not eating off first. Oh, silly woman. I tell ya. It's me getting overexcited to get in craft room. Because I had an idea. I've lost all my other ideas. I can't remember what they were. Like I say, you leave yours just that in the middle if you want, because I do think it looked ever so pretty. But I just wanted to show you that you could just take it that step further if you wanted. There we go. You kind of lose it a bit, actually. I've gone way darker on this one than I did on my practice one. But again, it doesn't matter. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the bleed proof white. my brush I've just cleaned my brushes let's see I just took um the jug down what I'd have it all in to clean it all out you should have seen water in bottom it will like mud you know from all my different paint brushes it will it honestly it will just like mud <laughs> I'm going to put a bit of water on that and then I'm going to make it snow which is what it says Right, and because this is wet, we're not going to finish it off. Ooh. But I purposely didn't make the other one into a card yet, so we could do it with that. Um, just got a piece of cloth. Yeah, I think I've come in a bit too dark here. Or stamp it all in the dark, which on this card I think would have stood out lovely. All in the dark. But on the practice one, I didn't come in as dark. There is a big difference. I think I like the idea of doing it all in the same one though. Plus the silver stands out more on it. 
yeah i would do that and also what i did do where are you oh i don't know where it is but i went around the edge with the twilight oh, let's see a look so i just literally because it's going up against a white background I mean ideally wait till your your white's dry but this makes a big difference and all it's crazy isn't it the little things that make a difference there you go so we'll leave that to the side like I say, it'll still be made into a card. I could even go in and do over the top with darker ones. So this one's dry now. Got a nice little mark there. I did smudge the white. It is what it is. So we'll stick it on the white base. I didn't think these would take this long enough. Mind you, we have had a... Oh, I've had a few problems, should I say. Not we. Can't be blaming you guys, can I? Oh, can I? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> and same again. Don't like doing it like that. It's just not my day, is it? That will do. Look at that white. I can't. I bet I can't get that up now. Right. So let's say that's done because I'm going to get out of your face and I'm going to go and cut that down. So there's your card. It's pretty, isn't it? Even cockeyed. This is your one that's still turning. Oh, yeah, it's turning lovely. And that one's started now. You can see the difference now that it's started. They're cute, aren't they? I love them. I love them, Mila. And then this one again. And these... I will make these into cards. I think there's something really cute about it. See, I don't know. Got a nice little cottage that go in there. Right, I'm going to get out of your way. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. You can even give me a share. Give me a um, subscribe if you... Oh my goodness me, if you haven't already. And honestly, I'm not always like this. <laughs> not always. Right, I'm off. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye-bye.